staying in Tulare County. A Tulare County man sentenced to 56 years to life in prison for threatening to kill people may get out much sooner than expected. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco spoke with the district attorney about this particular case, and she joins us now in studio to explain why that is. Myra? Monty Liz, even though prosecutors fought to keep this accused criminal in prison for many, many years, Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward says that's not going to happen because of Prop 57. I spoke to Ward today. Here's what he had to say. Last week he was sentenced. And as you see on the press release, there's a line that he's sentenced to, I believe, 56 to life in prison. Uh, but the reality is that's, that's a legal fiction. 38-year-old Luis Nuno of Tulare County was sentenced to life in prison after being convicted of a third strike under California law. He was accused of threatening to kill people while armed with a knife. However, Ward says he most likely will not serve his whole time in prison due to Proposition 57. That's not going to be uh, the reality in California. Uh, it is a travesty that crimes like criminal threats, um, domestic violence, and some others aren't even considered violent in California. In fact, um, blowing up a bomb with the intent to injure someone uh, when no one is seriously injured is not considered a violent felony in California. Making Nuno eligible for early release in spite of prosecutors' warnings since Prop 57 would classify him as a nonviolent inmate. And I think our, your listeners would agree is a violent crime uh, in one of our stores, he confronted a couple um, uh, and accused them of following him. They didn't know him at all. They were not following him. He pulled out a knife and threatened them. Uh, fortunately, the, the owner of the store intervened. The police were called and the subject was arrested. That happened at a store in Pixie last year in March. In November of 2023, Nuno was found guilty in a court trial of two counts of felony criminal threats with the allegations that he used a weapon, threatened great bodily harm with a deadly weapon, and possessed prior serious convictions and strikes. Ward says it's unfair to the victims and prosecutors all across the state who fight for justice in the courtrooms just for criminals to be let out again to continue committing more crimes crimes. I, I think that we need to have an, an honest and open dialogue about justice in California. We need to start a dialogue that um, victims matter. Victims have voices because they're left out of this uh, state um, dialogue on so-called reforms of the criminal justice system. None of them are benefiting uh, victims. 